Hi there, Gemini. Welcome to your reading. This will be for mid-September through mid-November. Uh, whenever you come across this, it was meant to find you at a certain time for a reason. So if you come across this at a different time, it still may possibly make sense for you. We'll get some shuffles and see what's going on for my Geminis. So I just stepped back in from going outside and I heard a lot of uh, cardinals, uh, those red birds if you don't know what they are. Um, I don't know if this could be significant for you. A lot of times they represent uh, messages from loved ones that have passed on to the other side. I don't know if that might be part of your situation that you have going on. Uh, cardinals are also represented by the number 12. Um, I believe it takes about 12 days for their eggs to hatch when they lay them. And they're also, um, in Wisconsin, that's in the U.S., in that climate, they are a year-round bird. I don't think that they migrate, so that's, you know, 12 months out of the year. So the number 12 could be significant for you. Um, something that happened on the 12th of a month, it could be a birth date, uh, could be 12 days, uh, 12 weeks, 12 months ago, or something in the future is significant with that number. So the first card that came out of the deck that showed its face up top is the King of Cups in the reverse. Um, so the King of Cups in reverse talks about somebody that's uh, emotionally cold and it's a masculine energy. Let's see what else we have here. So we've got the Three of Wands. So you got some of you got tired of waiting on this situation. Um, maybe you gave a person the benefit of the doubt that was acting cold, hoping that they would turn it around, and it doesn't look like they did. And then we've got the Knight of Cups in the reverse. So the Knight of Cups and the King of Cups both in the reverse. That's more verification that you're dealing with somebody that's not only emotionally immature, but they're also emotionally cold. They don't have the same kind of heart as you, Gemini. Um, and then we've got the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Uh, that's something from your very distant past, it looks like. Uh, also, what I got is, lately you've been coming to the conclusion that this person brings out the worst in you somehow. Um, like it made, something about this situation made you more stingy with your money. Maybe you felt like you needed to put walls up to protect yourself because maybe they kept taking and taking and taking with no regard to your well-being. Uh, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. That also could uh, have to do with Earth sign placements, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. It doesn't have to be, but it could. So in the recent past, so two cards wanted to come out. Ooh, so we've got the Ten of Swords and Nine of Swords. So uh, you've been losing sleep. You've been having a lot of anxiety over this. And with the Ten of Swords in the upright, a lot of you feel like you really were stabbed in the back and you felt like you hit rock bottom. Uh, Eight of Cups in the reverse, you had a really, you were having a really hard time walking away from this. You did, but you're having a, you know, some difficult times processing it emotionally. So we've got the Four of Swords in the reverse. This person highly disturbed your peace. It made you go into hibernation mode. And then with that Four of Swords in the reverse, some of you may be coming out of hibernation mode because you felt like if you stayed in your cave too long, you might get too depressed. So you're trying to make the effort to, you know, have more hobbies, have more of a social circle. Um, do more things that bring joy to your soul, to kind of, like, as a distraction. Uh, two of Wands in the reverse. Uh, there was a decision to be made. Um, so even though you had a choice to make, they also did, and they chose wrong. And that's not your problem anymore. 
Uh, we've got the justice card in the reverse, exactly. An unfair decision was made, or an unwise one. Um, that's in your environment, so to me it sounds more like them that made a bad decision. There was nothing you could do about it. All you could do is do what you had to do to protect your own peace. Knight of Swords in the reverse. This person's still keeping tabs on you. They're still watching you, but they're not speaking up and they're trying to act like they forgot about you. <laughs> they didn't, um, but that's not your problem, though. Two of Pentacles in the reverse. You are burnt the hell out from this. You've got way too much on your plate. And we've got the Hierophant. Um, you have faith in yourself. You may have also come to some spiritual epiphanies, uh, some maybe upgrades spiritually within yourself. Maybe this brought out a different side of you to encourage you to get in touch with your spirituality even more. Um, and if not, the Hierophant is often about commitment and faith. Um, so what I'm thinking is you made a commitment to yourself and you have faith in yourself that things are going to work out. If this isn't making any sense and this isn't your story, don't try to make it fit if it's not you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Uh, what advice do we have for Gemini? So King of Pentacles in the reverse, even though that's normally considered kind of like not really a positive card, so the King of so uh, rather King of Pentacles in the reverse, a lot of times it talks about greed and being stingy with money or maybe financially reckless, um, which could have been the person that you're dealing with, but it's also saying you need to be greedy and yes, Gemini, be selfish with that money. Be selfish with your resources. You've given enough. And now it's time to put the focus on you. Knight of Wands in the upright. So that's giving you the green light to pursue your passions if you had one uh, in mind, something that you were thinking about. Um, and then we've got the Empress card. I think that in your situation, this talks all about building your empire, giving birth to fresh new ideas, planting seeds for a better future. Uh, for my Geminis that are happy in love, because um, something just gives breakup vibes. So for the few Geminis that, you know, maybe you're in a happy love situation, is there anything that you can tell me about that? So we've got the strength card in the upright, so whether you just came out of a relationship or, you know, you're in one, the strength card, that's a Leo energy. It also talks about somebody holding back. Um, so maybe whoever the person is that's on your mind that's either a new person that's not this toxic one, um, or your current person, somebody is holding back. Um, they have deeper feelings for you than they're admitting to, but your intuition already tells you that anyhow. You don't really need the tarot cards to tell you that, but the verification is nice. And uh, what, uh, what's the kind of outcome can I get? This one wanted to fly out of the deck here. So we've got the judgment card as far as the outcome goes. And there's a cute little bunny in there. It kind of reminds me of spring and new beginnings. Uh, very air energy in a positive way. Happy, cheerful. Um, this is talking about your important decision that was made. It's just letting you know that you were on the right path and it's more verification. And we've got the hermit card in the upright that talks about reflection. Uh, taking a look within, focusing on yourself, you might be learning things that are new. You're pretty much keeping to yourself and learning new things and focusing your energy on that. Some of this could even be talking about a toxic friend or a toxic family member. It doesn't always have to be a romantic relationship. Ooh, <laughs> we've got the king, uh, Queen of Swords in the reverse right next to the King of Wands in the reverse. So, yes, this definitely was a toxic situation. Um, I'm also getting air and fire. Uh, wands is fire energy, so the masculine may have been a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. And you, Gemini, 
uh, your air and the, the swords energy with that queen of swords there, that's associated with air energy. Um, so something to me looks like the fire sign, you know, somebody wasn't very motivated and you had no choice but to be cold towards them because you had to make a head over heart decision and it's like, I feel like you were almost being forced to be mean because you had to defend yourself and this is the universe's way of letting you know do not feel guilty for that. Um, and now the people involved don't have to be male or female. It's uh, masculine, feminine, like their energies. They're not tied to a gender, um, but it kind of gives you a rough idea. And one more card here. So we've got the Eight of Wands in the reverse. Sometimes you wonder, is this person going to communicate? Are they finally going to spill it so you can get your closure? I don't think so, and you don't need them to tell you anything to create your own closure. Um, I don't know if this is making sense or resonating for any of you. Um, I mean, hopefully you're all in good situations, and any kind of rough stuff that you've been through, I wish you a lot of healing. There's always a rainbow at the end of the storm. Um, but you've been doing all the right things, making all the right decisions. I'm really getting that this was a romantic relationship, but it could be friendship. It could also, it, it could even be a working relationship or a family member. It doesn't always have to be from a romantic situation. If you know that you're happy in your relationship and things are going well, don't worry about it. This isn't for you. If it was, you would know. All this is is more confirmation. Um, I think your intuition has already done a fine job of leading the way. All right, Gemini, uh, I hope that helped you. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend and a great rest of your month. Thank you so much for watching.